This instructional video is designed to show you how to determine the non-standard cell potential when you have a voltaic cell written out with non-standard conditions, meaning that we do not have a temperature necessarily of 25 degrees Celsius. We do not have atmospheric pressures of all of our gases at one atmosphere, and we do not have concentrations of all of our aqueous components at one molar, uh, which is the case here. In this case, the first step is that we're going to need to find E cell standard. So for that, you have to complete the half reactions uh, and find them in a lookup table. So up first, we have copper. And this is not written as reduction. It is written as the oxidation. However, uh, we know that we simply must look it up in the table for reduction potentials and reverse the sign. So we have negative 0.34 volts. Second, we have our silver. And so we will have silver 2 plus, plus an electron will yield silver plus. This one is a reduction, so we can simply copy it from the table and that is uh, positive 1.98 volts. So the E cell standard then is a sum of these two values. And so E cell standard is positive 1.64 volts. That's step one. Step two is to find the form of Q, the reaction quotient. And for that, we're going to need to combine our half cells to get one overall redox reaction. And in order to do that, we need to multiply here by 2 so that our electrons will cancel. And in this case, what we get for our overall reaction is 2 moles of silver 2 ions react with solid copper, yielding copper 2 plus, and 2 moles of silver 1 ions. Now, once we have this, we have to refer back to how we find reaction quotients and all these kinds of things. And so the form of Q, we'll write this here where we're collecting everything we need. We're going to have the silver concentration, silver 1 ions squared, the copper 2 ions divided by the silver 2 plus squared. So now we've completed the first two steps. The final step is just to use the Nernst equation. Namely that E cell non-standard is the standard cell potential minus RT over NF. times ln of Q. So we have E cell standard, we have Q, we know the number of electrons used because of this recombination step. Faraday's constant, gas constant, and we just need to convert this temperature of 15 degrees Celsius into degrees Kelvin. So the E cell will be equal to plus 1.64 volts minus <clears throat> R is 8.314, and I am suppressing the units just for simplicity of writing. Temperature in Kelvin, 288.15. The number of electrons was 2, and Faraday's constant, 96485. And now for the reaction quotient Q. We know the concentration of silver plus is 0.25 molar. That's squared. We have the concentration of copper 2 plus. That's 2.0 molar. Concentration of silver 2 plus is 0.01, and that's squared. So now it's a matter of simplifying all of these factors. Uh, we'll do it one step at a time. 
that's 1.64 volts. All of these factors combine to give us 0.0124 natural log. Uh, we simplify inside of here and we get 1,250. So ln of 1250 is uh, 7.131. Copy down all of our other values. And so now when we simplify this all the way out, uh, what we get is a positive 1.55 volts. And so this represents the non-standard cell potential. Given that we have non-standard conditions in the solution and a non-standard uh, temperature.